First, panic at the pumps could be sending East Tennessee into a diesel fuel shortage. Good evening, glad you're here for WVLT News at 6 o'clock. I'm Ted Hall. Some fuel suppliers say they're seeing a rush in demand for diesel after concerns of an actual shortage. So what's the deal with that? Rosie Cree is here to break down what is fueling the concerns and the issues around the fuel used in trucks and in heating homes. Could customers be the cause here, Gwen? That's right. You said it, Ted. You know, we all need fuel, especially this diesel. What suppliers are starting to see is similar to that toilet tissue frenzy. And just like tissue, you can say that everyone benefits from having a little extra just in case. It's very busy. Busiest fuel season that we've ever had at Knox Farmers Co-op, yes. Despite diesel fuel costing double the amount in the last two years, Customers are doubling up on their supply. Good for Knox Farmers Cooperative's bank, but CEO Lewis Jones says it's not exactly ideal for business. The company is having to allocate supply from the Knoxville fuel terminal, but it's taking two days for the supply to get to these tanks. I really can't understand the fuel shortage myself. I can't wrap my, my mind around why we're having such a difficult time with that right now. Experts like Lee Maddox with the Tennessee Farm Bureau says there's enough blame to go around for a supply chain shortage from Russia's war on Ukraine, the lowest water levels along the Mississippi River, and refinery shutdowns during COVID. There's just not been enough uh, uh, demand to, you know, to bring back some of these refineries because of how much our country depends on diesel fuel. Uh, I'm not going to say crisis quite yet, but uh, we're approaching that. It's, there, there's a lot of concern among farmers and the general public. Who diesel fuel isn't running out in East Tennessee, but getting it here has been slower than normal. Most of our supply comes from pipelines, but if the fuel isn't coming, that's when we start seeing a backup and a panic. If you were a greenhouse grower or someone that had uh, thousands of dollars worth of plants in a greenhouse and uh, needed to make sure that you keep those plants warm through the winter, you're going to make sure that your fuel tanks are full and that you have enough to protect that crop. So you can't blame them? Can't blame them. 